The anniversary four-year-old hurdle is next. Two more half a furlong grade one, of course, for four-year-olds. And almost a repeat of last week's triumph. Chaos Bell, Craig Beckwith, final say, Darren Thompson, Mr. Fish, Martin Little, potentially in Spades, Joshua Sutherland, Redondo Beach, Leon Van Rensburg, Cladora Alacaba, and Habir Zara. All Derek Hinton, Ruth Noir's Fanning, David Robertson, Saxon, Siren, Pandrang Hogan, and last week's champion, Stiletto Heel, Daniel French. So the there's two from last week are back, they're away and racing. Probably more than that as well. And it's last week's winner, Stiletto Hill, who's disputing the lead early on, which may be a bit of a surprise. Then the two who are following are Redondo Beach and Chaos Bell. They're all safely over the first. They've got eight more to take. So one more hurdle to jump in this one than they did last week. And it's a tighter and sharper and flatter trap, this one as well. So this one is more for the speedsters than last week's. Triumph is also a furlong shorter as well. So it's Redondo Beach who's gone into the lead from Ruth Noir's fan in. There's only about four lengths between the entire field at the moment. And as they head towards the second, it's going to be Redondo Beach who's going to lead into it. But Chaos Bell is close up in second and out jumped him there and has now gone on. Saxon Siren and potentially in spades also up there as well. Cladora Alacaba. The Grey was really disappointed, I think, last week as they get over the third. They're all safely over that stiletto here that's now dropped to the back. They're that closely grouped at one good jump. We'll see you move through half the field. And it's Chaos Belt on the outside of Redondo Beach. With potential in spades tucked in behind them. Third past the winning post they go. Complete circuit of the track ahead of them. And Chaos Bell and Redondo Beach leading by about two and a half lengths. Two potential in spades on the inside is in third. Then the pink jacket of Habira Zara on the outside of the white sleeved final say. And the turquoise and maroon hoops of Ruth Noir's fun in. And after that one comes Stiletto Hill, Mr. Fish in the stripes on the outside of the grey, Cladora Alacaba, and finally Saxon Siren in the yellow and black at the back for Padre Hogan. But it's Redondo Beach by a length and a half to Chaos Bell in second. Three length gap then to the rest of them, headed by Final C. And coming down towards the midway point in the race, miles still to go there. And Redondo Beach, two lengths clear now of Chaos Bell. Who's three lengths clear of Stiletto Hill, who's moved back into third. On the outside, Mr. Fish, who was second last week, has jumped through into fourth. Then comes a potential in spades, final say, Saxon Siren. After that one, Ruth Noir's fan and has now dropped to the back as they get over the fifth. And Redondo Beach is clearing the lead with six furlongs to go. This is hurdle number six, which they all get over. Three more to take then, and Redondo Beach in front. Chaos Bell second, final say third, then Stiletto Heel. Then comes Potential in Spades. Saxon Siren is the one who's making eye catching progress around the outside. Then comes the Grey Cladora Alacaba. Ruth Dwyer's fan in his next. Mr. Fish has dropped right back. Habir Azara is the back marker, but this is the third last, and over that one they go. And the leader, Redondo Beach, is still too clear, but Saxon Siren is the one who's closing and is now coming through to challenge. Stiletto Heel coming through as well. There's only three and a half furlongs to go. And the race is on in earnest now. Saxon Siren pokes his head in front. Saxon Siren from Redondo Beach to Leto Hill between the two of them. These three are clearing the rest of them as they come down towards the second last. It's shortly between these three. Saxon Siren's in front. Saxon Siren from Stiletto Hill and Redondo Beach. He's the second last flight. Over it they go. And Saxon Siren landed in front. Stiletto Hill in second. Redondo Beach now looks beaten in third. Forget the rest. They're heading down towards the final flight. Saxon Siren takes it in release. Stiletto Hill over in second. Saxon Siren up the hill in front from in second. Second place, Stiletto Hill. Saxon Siren's holding on. Stiletto Hill can't close. And it's Saxon Siren who looks like he's going to take it. Saxon Siren from Stiletto Hill. And Saxon Siren, one last lunge for Stiletto Hill. It's close on the line in the end. It's mighty close. Stiletto Hill was getting back up on the inside, but did the Padre Hogan horse hold on? It doesn't look like it did. It looks like Stiletto Hill's done the... No, it's not. It's a dead heat. It's a dead heat. Stiletto Hill and Saxon Siren. So Stiletto Hill has sort of done the Cheltenham Aintree double, but not quite, if you get what I mean. But he has, and he hasn't. So Stiletto Hill for Daniel French probably has done enough there to make himself a champion for it on hurdler of the season. So Stiletto Hill, the winner for Daniel French, along with Saxon Siren for Madring Hogan. Dead heat winners there then. Redondo Beach back in third for... Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was final save for Darren Thompson. And fifth was Cladora Alacaba for Derek Hinton.